Creatine is often praised as a powerhouse for building muscle and boosting energy. But here's the real question that very few people talk about. Does creatine actually have an impact on erections? For men over 60, this is more than just a curiosity. It's about maintaining quality of life, confidence, and intimacy. So today we're going to uncover the truth about creatine, sexual performance, and what the science actually says. Now, first things first, what exactly is creatine? Creatine is a naturally occurring compound that your body makes in the liver, kidneys, and pancreas. You also get it from foods like red meat and fish. Once inside the body, most of it gets stored in your muscles as phosphocreatine. Its main job is to help recycle ATP, which is the energy currency your body uses for almost everything, from lifting weights to keeping blood flowing properly. Without ATP, muscles, including the ones involved in erections, can't function effectively. Supplementing with creatine increases the amount of phosphocreatine inside muscle cells by around 20%, which means more energy and faster recovery. But here's the interesting part. A smaller percentage also gets distributed to other tissues, like the brain, heart, bones, and even the testes. That's why some scientists have started asking whether creatine could have a direct or indirect effect on erections. So let's break this down. Erections are not just about testosterone. They require a combination of healthy blood flow, nerve signaling, and energy production in penile tissue. Think of it this way. When you're younger, your body can easily fuel this process. But as you age, you naturally experience reduced ATP production, increased oxidative stress, and lower testosterone. These changes all add up to weaker or less reliable erections. The big question is, can creatine help offset some of this decline? Let's look at the evidence. Several studies have shown that creatine may slightly raise levels of dihydrotestosterone, also known as DHT. DHT is a stronger form of testosterone and plays an important role in male sexual health. In one study, young rugby players who supplemented with creatine for three weeks showed about a 12% increase in DHT levels compared to those who didn't. While that study wasn't done in men over 60, it does give us a clue that creatine could influence androgen hormones in ways that matter for sexual function. Now, does this mean creatine is a miracle pill for testosterone? Not exactly. Out of more than a dozen studies, only a few have shown any measurable change in testosterone, and most found little to no difference. But here's what often gets overlooked. Testosterone is only part of the picture. Erections depend heavily on vascular health and energy supply. And this is where creatine starts to get more interesting. Remember how creatine boosts ATP? Penile tissue requires a surge of ATP to relax smooth muscles and allow blood to rush in. Without enough ATP, even strong testosterone levels can't create a firm erection. By improving cellular energy, creatine might indirectly support this process, especially in older men where natural energy production is declining. It's not that creatine directly causes erections, it's that it helps maintain the energy and vascular support system required to make them possible. Let's talk about inflammation and oxidative stress. As men age, blood vessels stiffen and inflammation increases, which can interfere with nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide is the molecule that tells blood vessels in the penis to dilate. Without it, erections can't happen. Some studies suggest creatine has anti-inflammatory properties and may reduce oxidative stress. That means creatine could help keep blood vessels healthier, supporting better blood flow where it matters most. Now here's another angle that doesn't get much attention. The brain. Erections don't start in the penis, they start in the brain. Sexual arousal depends on healthy brain function, neurotransmitter release, and mental energy. Research on creatine and cognition shows that it may improve memory, mental performance, and reduce fatigue, particularly during stress or sleep deprivation. For older men, this could mean sharper focus, better mood, and even more consistent sexual desire. After all, libido is as much psychological as it is physical. So how much creatine do you actually need to see these kinds of benefits? The typical maintenance dose is 3 to 5 grams a day. This is enough to saturate muscles over time and is safe for long-term use. But when it comes to broader benefits, supporting brain health, possibly DHT levels, and maybe even sexual function, some researchers recommend closer to 8 to 10 grams a day. That said, going higher doesn't always mean better. The key is consistency. 
Taking creatine daily ensures your tissues stay saturated so you get steady benefits over time. Now, some of you might be wondering about side effects. For most healthy men, creatine is considered very safe. The most common effect is a little water retention, which might cause the scale to tick up a few pounds. Some men also experience mild stomach upset if they take too much at once. The solution is simple. Spread out your dose or take it with food. The bigger concern comes if you already have kidney disease. In that case, you should talk to your doctor before starting creatine. For otherwise healthy men, long-term studies show no harm to kidney or liver function. But let's circle back to the main point. Does creatine help with erections? Here's the honest truth. Creatine is not a Viagra replacement. It's not going to instantly fix erectile dysfunction. What it does is support the systems behind the scenes, energy production, vascular health, hormone balance, and even brain function. For men over 60, these are exactly the areas that start to decline and contribute to weaker erections. So while creatine isn't a magic solution, it can be a valuable part of an overall strategy to maintain sexual performance as you age. Think of creatine as an ally. On its own, it may not transform your erections overnight, but when combined with other healthy habits like regular exercise, strength training, good sleep, and proper nutrition, it helps create the environment your body needs to perform well. And that's something no one should overlook. Now, let's bring all of this together. For men over 60, the real question isn't whether creatine will turn you into an athlete again. It's whether it can help you maintain energy, confidence, and performance where it matters most. Based on the science, the answer is that creatine plays a supporting role, and that support can make a real difference as you age. Erections depend on three things, hormones, blood flow, and energy. Testosterone often gets all the attention, but as we've seen, it's only one piece of the puzzle. Without healthy blood vessels and enough ATP to fuel the process, testosterone alone won't deliver reliable results. And this is exactly where creatine fits in. By boosting cellular energy and potentially improving vascular health, it helps create the conditions needed for stronger and more consistent erections. There's also the bigger picture. Creatine has been shown to improve recovery, reduce fatigue, and even support cognitive function. For older men, that means more than just better workouts. It means sharper focus, better mood, and greater resilience. And because sexual health is deeply connected to overall health, these benefits often overlap. A body that feels stronger and a brain that functions more clearly both contribute to better sexual performance. So what's the bottom line? Creatine is not a quick fix or a substitute for medical treatments, but as part of a broader lifestyle, regular exercise, balanced nutrition, good sleep, and stress management, it can be a powerful tool to help you maintain vitality and intimacy well into your later years. That's the truth about creatine and erections. Simple, science-backed, and often overlooked.